President William Ruto has directed his cabinet to provide specific timelines under which his campaign pledges will be made. Speaking at the cabinet retreat in Nyeri County on Friday, the head of state indicated that he wanted his manifesto implemented, hence the need to have a plan with timelines. He ordered the projects to have timelines for three months, six months and one year. Every ministry is going to give us timelines on the priorities that we have set in our manifesto. When are we going to finish this program? When are we going to actualize this commitment? And we are going to have a three months, <clears throat> a six months, a one year, a two year program that is going to inform what the whole of government approach is, um, uh, is going to look like. And that is going to be available to all of us. The head of state asked cabinet secretaries to act first to deliver on the administration's development programs. The president said the government must deliver on its mandate with speed and efficiency. We have agreed that our approach, whether we are thinking about our um, interventions in uh, the economic sector, it must be from the bottom up. Whether we are investing in, whether we are looking at our uh, programs in agriculture, we are today recruiting farmers from the farmer who has an acre or two acres to the farmer who has a thousand acres so that we can service them. And again, we are going to use technology this time round to support our farmers with whatever subsidy programs that we have so that we make it efficient, we make it uh, free of uh, brokers and uh, middlemen, and those are the people who normally give us uh, challenges. Again, it is the whole of government approach. He explained that the directives were aimed at enabling his government to attain the targets it had set for itself, even as he added that he had a contract with Kenyans. We must know that we have a contract with the people of Kenya. The people of Kenya went to the ballot and signed off a contract with me, which contract I share with each and every one of you. When the people of Kenya went to the ballot, there was the name of William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa on the ballot. They signed off and we have a contract. It may not be written in any paper, unlike uh, you guys, at least you have a, a, a contract between me and you. You have a letter of appointment. My letter of appointment, we received it on the 9th of August. So that letter of appointment has responsibilities and those responsibilities are solemn. Father, he directed his CSS to assess government programs that had been initiated by the previous administration, adding that they needed to be aligned with their plan. And uh, you have been uh, taken through the program of budgeting by, uh, I think, P.S. Kipto and uh, C.S. Uh, and Dungu, so that the next budget must reflect the priorities that we have and must also carry the completion of all the other programs that are in the best interest of the people of Kenya because government is a continuous uh, enterprise. Ruto also urged his cabinet to serve all Kenyans diligently irrespective of how they voted in the 2022 general election. Before you sign up any contract, as you work with anybody that comes to work with government, your position must be informed by the interest of the people of Kenya. The people who do not have ties 
Some of them don't even have shoes. Some of them cannot get beyond the watchman. They cannot hire a lawyer. Those people are the ones who have hired us. We are their servants. We are their advocates. So in every con contract, in every transaction, we must protect their interest and we must carry their aspirations and they must be reflected in every action of government. On the other hand, he also announced that they had resolved to have paperless cabinet meetings, noting the advancement of technology. We have agreed also that um, from the next cabinet meeting, uh, Masvi Wanjao, our um, secretary to cabinet, has assured us that from the next cabinet meeting, uh, our meetings are going to be paperless. Again, we are going to run our cabinet on the basis of uh, the digital space. And progressively, it will be expected of government in every department um, that we can leverage on technology to make government much more efficient. Uh, sending a, a letter takes longer than sending an email. The email arrives instant. A letter make, uh, tells us we have to get a messenger and another motorbike and another messenger on the other side and the receptionist on the other side and all manner of bureaucracy. I think it is time Kenyans got value for the resources they put at our disposal. The president said the government welcomes oversight and will protect the interests and resources of the people. An administration is as good as the checks and balances that exist. And therefore, we are ready to subject ourselves to accountability and to oversight so that before it is too late, we can know whether things are going right or things are going not so right. He called on the CSS and PSS to be progressive and revolutionary in their approach to serving the country. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, Ambusha Junior.